Hey, what is up guys? My name is Oli and I've been traveling for the last six years and now I want to show you five different ways that you can use travel as a way to become the best version of yourself. So let's dive into it. For point number one, it is testing your assumptions. So whenever you are just staying at home in your hometown, you tend to look at the world in the same kind of frames and lenses as you have always done. But when you're traveling to a different country and you're starting to see that people from very different cultures are living in different ways and they're thriving. So it starts to really open you up and you start seeing that there's a lot of different ways. And the main benefit of that is once you start seeing all of these different ways of living, you can kind of pick the different ways of living that fits for you so you can create a hybrid and you can become the best version of yourself. Reason number two is you will be exposed to real life challenges. So what I mean by this, why is this so important? Whenever you are out traveling, you can be sure that there's always something that goes wrong. And I think it's very important to cultivate the kind of mindset that when you are out traveling, that you know 100% within yourself that no matter what challenge comes up, you are going to handle basically whatever comes up. Sometimes it can be you are stranded somewhere and you have no way to pay, like the ATMs doesn't work and you have to find a way to use your social skills or use some other skills in order to get out of that situation. And what starts happening after a while, once you do that, then you start um, creating the belief within yourself that there's no, nothing that's gonna stop you and you will see how much of a positive effect that has in your life. As for point number three, it is it keeps you outside of your comfort zone. Whenever you are outside of your comfort zone, it means that you are growing. Especially if you are in your 20s, the way that you should spend it is by growing as much as possible as a person to find out what kind of person you want to be, what you want to do in your life. And one of the best ways to do that is to go out and explore and to do different things, do things that you find uncomfortable. So for me, a while back, that was to head out and do some improv theater, to perform and to try some things like that, because that was for me very terrifying, of standing in front of an audience and especially improv, because I had to think of something on the spot. But whenever you cultivate that, you find in yourself that you will be able to handle any situations. And I think that's super important. Moving into point number four, it is, it's opening you up for gratitude. So whenever you are traveling and you're having all these amazing experiences, just as an example right now, standing, just being tired from a long bike ride. I just stopped here at the side of the road and I have this amazing, amazing rice field right here. So many nice people just waving, uh, seeing so many dogs. I love dogs. Just seeing so much abundance everywhere and feeling so much gratitude. What starts happening is whenever, say, you are back home and you're working a nine to five job or you're doing something in the process of working yourself up to be able to travel, once you have those experiences, you will be so thankful for yourself because most of the time you will not uh, regret the things that you do. It's most of the time the things that you didn't do. So if you have some kind of opportunity in front of you and especially if it's travel and it just feels right to you, then I think you should take that opportunity. And gratitude is something that whenever you are at the vibration, uh, you are feeling gratitude, it feels like you already have success or it feels like you already have this kind of life, then more of that is gonna gravitate towards you. So I think that is super powerful. And now on to point number five, and that is it super charges to find your passion. So what do I mean by that? If you are in your early 20s or whenever you are early in your life, or it could be later, it doesn't matter. If you are confused about what you want to do in life, traveling is by far the most, one of the most important things that you can do in order to find out your passion. So what starts happening when you are out here exploring the world and you're doing different things, what you start noticing is that you start 
focusing on what is it that I want in life and just because you are traveling you're experiencing you're kind of having this mindset like a newborn and you're just like wow everything is new and amazing and just because of that you kind of see the world as this open-ended adventure and you're excited to try so many new things and just because you have that um, thought and that mindset about it it just creates so many opportunities to try some things and sometimes you will find one thing and it feels like this is the thing that I want to do and then you find something else and you kind of keep going down this rabbit hole and sometimes you find maybe you have a talent for dancing maybe you have a talent for fighting maybe you have a talent for running with the bulls like just some random things that happens when you are out traveling and exploring the world so make yourself that favor that great great service and go travel the world go experience go have amazing amazing experiences with strangers because a stranger is just a friend you haven't met yet so as of that i want to Thank you so much for watching this video. I am challenging you to do something that you have not done yet. And I really hope these tips are going to help you. They've been a great big thing for me. I've learned them from of some of my previous mentors before and they have been incredibly, incredibly powerful. Remember to subscribe because I'll be posting a lot of content uh, traveling all over the world, but specifically right now in Indonesia and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.